Hello, Lakeshore Church family. Paul Andrews here. Just wanted to give you a word to lift your spirits and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. You know, for the past several months, we've had lots of issues, lots of problems, mainly because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But for every other, there are lots of other reasons why we have problems. You know, the Lord Jesus was thrust into lots of situations, problem situations actually, where he was asked things and he was often put in a no-win situation. But because of him being Jesus, he knew exactly the right words to say and how to respond to people. Because we're Christ followers, hopefully you've been putting the word of the Lord into your hearts and your souls as you read, as you pray, as you think about the words that are in God's word that will help you when you have to face problems and how you deal with them. I recently came across a quote by Rick Warren, pastor at Saddleback Church. And the quote goes like this, God has a purpose behind every problem. He uses circumstances to develop our character. In fact, he depends more on circumstances to make us like Jesus than he depends on our reading the Bible. You know, even though Jesus in his day had the Bible and knew the Bible, he used the circumstances and his reactions to those circumstances to show the people how God loves them, how they are to respond to others, how they are to live and conduct themselves when dealing with issues. Some of our issues are pretty easy to manage. You know, you probably have it all figured out. But then there's those really tough problems that come your way that you need extra help. Uh, as Susanna often puts it, it's extra grace required in some certain circumstances. You just need to have the right words to say and the right way to say them. You know, as the music person here at the church, I'm often asked, do you have a favorite hymn or a favorite song? That would be like asking a baker, what's their favorite flavor of cake or um, someone who works in a candy factory, what's your favorite flavor of jelly beans? I don't really have a favorite hymn but I know one that speaks well to lots of people and speaks to me too is the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. And that hymn was written by Horatio Spafford and music by Philip Bliss. If you have any inkling of the story behind that hymn, um, Horatio Spafford was a really wealthy and uh, successful businessman in the Chicago area. He and his family lived there and um, because of circumstances and situations like the Chicago fire and health issues in the family, they lost their only son. His wife and daughters were just a little stressed out with it all. And so he decided that, that the family needed to go on a vacation. And that vacation was gonna be overseas. And he's, he booked a ship for them to sail on. However, at the last minute, he had to stay behind to take care of business, and so he sent his wife and their four daughters to the holiday location. On the way, their ship um, hit another ship, and the boat sank. Four daughters were lost. The wife was saved and sent a message to Horatio, saved alone. What do I do now? Immediately, Horatio sailed to meet her. And the story goes that when the ship that he was on passed over the site where his four daughters were buried at sea. He penned the words to the hymn, It is well with my soul. Let me just read for you the, the first stanza. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well with my soul. Now, because Horatio Spafford was a believer in Christ, he knew how to deal with situations that were beyond his control. His faith was well grounded in the Lord. And in the second verse, it talks about that when trials come, sometimes it appears that Satan is the winner. But do not be in despair. Christ knows your situation, and he shed his own blood for your soul. Mr. Spafford knew how to deal with a problem. He turned it over to the Lord. He prayed, he meditated, he relied on his strength in knowing that the Lord is walking with him wherever he was going to go, no matter what the situation was. A contemporary version of It Is Well, 
by Bethel Music and sung by Kristen DeMarco. The chorus of that um, he, song goes, Through it all, my eyes are on you. Through it all, it is well. And the more contemporary lyrics reflect a lot of how Horatio Spafford felt as he penned the original hymn. A quote by Chuck Swindoll, we are all faced with a series of great opportunities brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. So the next time you are faced with a situation that you feel is impossible, something that's bigger than you can handle, turn to the Lord, ask for his help and guidance, and he will be your rock, your sure foundation. Remember, it is well with your soul when your soul is in him. Hope you have a great day. Have a blessed weekend. Hope you will join us for worship here at Lakeshore.